because he spent three seasons with the Knicks, Al. 13 seasons overall in the NBA. The pride of Patterson. No Fugazis in here. Just real talk in here. <laughs> Tim Thomas yeah. in the building. Going, uh, Tim, welcome to Knicks Fan TV, man. How, how you feeling, man? I'm good. I'm good. It's been a minute. It's been hey. a minute. I was supposed to have been on here last year, but, yeah. you know, God is good, so we, we got it done. Hey, in, in due time, and man, we stay patient, and, and we, we make it happen. So definitely appreciate the time. Uh, 79 to 73, man. Knicks lose to the Sixers in the first one of two in, in this home series. What, what you think, man? What you think of the game tonight, man? I mean, just out of sync, out of sorts, you know. Um, obviously, the game was about making shots tonight. We didn't make shots, shot the ball terribly tonight, but um, it was a lot of a lot of opportunities where the Sixers was giving us, you know, opportunities to either take the lead or, or get back in the game. Um, but you know, it's just the that's just the nature of the beast, you know. Um, especially around this time of the year, you know, all the teams just trying to gel and get, you know, get their their foot in and you know um, get healthy for the for the playoff run. So, you know, it was it was a tough loss tonight, but um, you know, we're still trying to get healthy and still trying to get guys, you know, back into rhythm. Well, what did you see from the Sixers and Nick Nurse tonight defensively that kind of, you know, threw the Knicks off a little bit? What did you think about the Sixers game plan? Uh, I just felt like they matched our intensity early. You know, um, every night when you play in the Knicks, you know, it's going to be a dog fight defensively. Um, I felt like, you know, they, they kind of matched our intensity, you know, early. Um, you know, playing Oubre on, on JB – you know, with the size a little bit, kind of, you know, throw him off, I think, a little bit. But, you know, he's still trying to work his way back into into game shape a little bit. So, you know, um, they just match our intensity very well tonight. Do you think for the Knicks, like, offensively, is there anything else that they could have done tonight to, you know, overcome the Sixers' potent defense? No, nah, I mean, listen, you know, the league now is about shooting threes. Right. So what did they finish with tonight? Eight for nine for 40. Yeah. OK, so there you have it. <laughs> it's nine. 40 attempts. It's 40 attempts. Nine 40 shot for attempts. 40, nine, nine. Yeah. So, I mean, hey, you, you have to chalk it up for what it is, you know. Um, obviously, when you're not shooting the ball well and, you know, any level, you, you tell your, your guys, you know, get to the basket more, get downhill. But. You know, this this game now is, is all about spacing and, and creating the shooting jump shot. So, hey, 9 for 40, what's the chances? <laughs> yeah. True indeed, true indeed, man. Once again, we're talking to former Nick Tim Thomas here. Nick's lose to the Sixers, 79-73. to 73. I mean, Tim, you know, based on who these guys have right now, seem like obviously with everybody out, a lot of these guys have to kind of punch above their weight. You ever been in a situation like that where it's just, you know, you just down a, a ton of players and, and guys just mm -hmm. kind of have to elevate their play just a, another level up? What's that adjustment like as a team? Yeah, I mean, that's that's just what it is. You know, it's, it's a team sport. So, you know, you're going to have injuries. You're going to have things that you have to deal with throughout the year. And, you know, um, guys got to be willing to, you know, to step up. Last The last game I was at uh, – Jalen was out. I told Dante, I said, Dante, you know, when, when Jalen is out and Josh doesn't have it going, so you got to shoot the ball 10 extra times that game. You know, so it's just it's just the mindset. I mean, with the trades and everything that we've been doing, we have a great group of guys, you know, once we get healthy. But guys just got to figure out their niche and, and understand, like, hey, I, I have to, you know, get going or, or force it a little bit when other guys are struggling. Tim, do you think, like, you say, like, Dante needs to take another, like, 10 extra shots, right, if JB's not in the game or if Hart's not having it. Like, at some point, do guys like Dante feel that burden and feel, like, feel the exhaustion of having to do that, for, like, game in and game out, if that's not what their role is? No, I mean, I think as a, as a player, right, I think that's what we all want, right? Everyone wants to be in that position, especially at that level, right? It's, it's all about, you know, the shot attempts. Obviously, the more shot attempts you take, the more chances you have of scoring, you know, uh, more points. So, 
as players, it's always about the opportunity of, of, you know, being able to get, you know, five or six extra shots, you know, throughout the game, especially if you're a player where um, you're not getting any sets called for you, you know. So in Dante's case, he's not that individual where he's not getting plays called for him. But when you have scoring power out, you know, what is Jalen averaging, 28, 29 or whatever a mm-hmm. night, you know, those are points on the board. So you have to look around and you have to say, okay, where are we going to get these points from tonight? You know, so if you're a scorer or if you're a guy that's in the mix of taking, you know, 12 to 17 shots a game, hey, one of your guys are out, you might have to take 25 a game, you know. And, and Tim, speaking of, of the Nova trio, Josh Hart is another guy when we talk about having to, you know, sacrifice and, and just do everything for this team. Uh, up and down night mm-hmm. for him, him him tonight. But, you know, over this stretch, I mean, you know, damn near 43% from three on five attempts, uh, mm-hmm. almost a double-double, four or five assists. What have you made of mm-hmm. the job that Josh Hart has had to do, especially in light of the Julius Randle injury? I love what he brings to the table. I mean, he, he you know, he competes on both ends. Um, you know, some nights uh, I think he settles a little bit too much with the jump shot um, rather than attacking uh, when he have angles where he can attack. But, you know, for the most part, that's his game, right? You know, he's all over the place. He's, he's a, a stat stuffer, as we like to call him. Um, but, you know, at, at some point when he gets a little bit more comfortable in certain situations, especially in the playoffs when JB is, is, is getting doubled a lot, you know, he's going to find himself in those situations. So, you know, um, just being aggressive is everything, you know, because that's going to, um, you know, pinpoint what, what defenses or teams uh, kind of scout and do against us, you know, in in the playoffs. Yeah, I was, I was saying the same thing, especially, you know, if things start to slow down in the half court, like having that confidence to take those shots and, you know, because teams are going to give him the three. And, you know, mm-hmm. he's going to have to have the confidence to, to take him in and knock those down for sure, especially if, you know, Julius Randle takes a little bit of time to ramp up once he does come back. Yeah, yeah. Or, I mean, if he doesn't feel like taking those shots, at least attack, uh, attacking the basket, attack, attack. you know, get, getting the big guys in trouble. So, I mean, I, I think I think he, he has a, a, a better understanding of it. He's a winner, you know, obviously. So he'll he'll figure it out. You know, he'll figure it out to help us. Now, Tim, since the OG and Anobi trade has opened a door for Miles McBride to get more playing time, what has your thought been since he's entered the rotation? Well, I mean, again, it's, it's a team sport, so with injuries and, and all of those things, you, you have to rely on your guys, um, you know, that's, that's on the bench. So, you know, guys just have to prepare themselves to stay ready, you know. Um, I like what Coach is doing overall with, you know, just his game plan, his schemes. With you know some of our guys being out, and even even the way he you know um, you know has his rotations to kind of you know not burn guys out, you know what I mean. So he's 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 playing enough guys to kind of you know get everybody rested, and then he's playing his guys down the stretch to win games, you know. So um, all all of our guys, you know, um, this year when, when called upon, has been stepping in and, and, and been doing well. 